Good morning. Thank God it's Friday. This is TVC Breakfast, and uh, indeed, welcome to the program. I am Kemi Foladiemo with Olamide Ademi. Good morning, Kemi. You know, they were asking where are the glasses are. <laughs> I have them on <laughs> today. Then, then I can't you see are. you clearly today. <laughs> how how are you beautiful. doing? And you are popping, oh, simply popping. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank God it's Friday. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. In the news uh, this morning, uh, the, or at this time uh, on the show as we begin proper, the core marshal of the Federal Road Safety Corps, Shehu Mohammed, has warned motorists about the dangers of making night trips. In a statement, Mr. Mohammed emphasized the increased dangers of night travel, so which include poor visibility, driver fatigue, excessive speed, and the risk of falling asleep at the wheel. And this warning comes after two major accidents where one crash resulted in 37 deaths after four vehicles collided and caught fire in Lapai, Niger State. And this was due to speed violations and driver fatigue. Uh, it occurred on September the 8th this year. And just days later, another tragic accident happened. At this time, claiming the lives of 18 people, and it happened along the Abuja Kaduna Highway on September the 12th. Both crashes occurred during uh, night time travels, and uh, the FRSC official described night trips as not only safe, unsafe, but utterly dangerous. And this warning is, uh, of course, for motorists, for passengers, uh, drivers alike. Uh, some would say it's. Um, in the common sense, you know, it's as you don't have to be told. Uh, the rains are still upon us. You know, the warnings are there of even heavier rainfalls uh, as the year progresses. But then you will also have a crop of people who believe that nighttime travels are the safest. That's when the roads are less busy. Uh, that's when um, we can enjoy and uh, traveling, so to speak. But, you know, I missed all these warnings. I remember back then during service days uh, as well. And when I, I was working in Abuja, it, it was the vogue at the time. And you could see the crowd of, you know, passengers who are boarding the buses, at you night. know, plying the Lagos to Abuja, Abuja to Lagos Road. And, um, but I, I have never been a fan of it. I don't, I don't know what the law is about nighttime travels because the roads are in bad shape. Uh, what if your car breaks down? Uh, who is available on the road to, to help fix your car? And so many other dangers, uh, as, you know, said by the FRC. And, you know, beyond uh, the accident or, you know, the possibility of deadly crashes without anyone to help us at that time, there is also the security angle to, to this uh, traveling at night. But some persons prefer that. And it's great that this is coming, especially in the end of the month, the fact will want to travel and there's a lot of uh, you know uh, interstate you know movement uh, and I also believe that we should also do our best because uh, after this warning some persons may not still eat this warning and that's where you know the body goes back to the FRSC to ensure that officers are still on that road beyond just state roads there should be more of you know officers on federal roads who you know from time to time check the traffic check if drivers are abiding with uh, the rules at that time for so many persons traveling uh, when you look at uh, the lagos to ibado expressway you just meet uh, policemen you meet soldiers but you hardly find members of or staff of the frsc and so uh, i think this is something that we should also look into beyond controlling traffic or management of you know uh, movement of vehicles within the state interstate monitoring should also be ensured to to ensure that uh, in cases like this it can be e easily addressed and the level of, you know, uh, accidents and all that can be reduced. That's another angle that I believe uh, we should, apart from the safety, the individual safety measures that should be put in place at this time. Right, and talking about uh, interstate monitoring, um, you know, and, uh, you know, the regulation around uh, nighttime travels, the FRC also said in this latest uh, statement that it doesn't even have the power to impose a ban on nighttime travels. Perhaps it might be a hint to, to regulators in, in this wise, uh, perhaps states. So, but then, as you have said, it's interstate in nature, you know, traveling and, and all of that. So it remains to be seen how this would be, how, how this will be taken. You could just call it an advice. And who better to give the advice than the FRSC? 
and you know for the court martial to issue this uh, this um, directive call it a directive call it uh, an advice you know he would have seen the average frsc uh, official would have seen a lot. I, I, I know I have a, a big brother who every week when he comes back, you know, from, um, you know, his work, his, his week, weekly activities, he always comes back with a story, at least one story of yet another, you know, devastating you know, accident on the road. So they've, they've had their fair share of more than their fair share of accidents, you know, and the trauma and all of that, you know, but that, let's excuse that. This is, you know, a, a warning and we hope it to be heeded. As you have said, the Ember campaigns have started and we are with hoping elections. We with elections, in it's going to be, yes, the economy and all of that, but it's still going to bring about a lot of movements as the year, you know, gradually uh, winds down. Poor visibility, driver fatigue. Uh, one would expect that if you must embark on, as the driver, on night travels, at least you should have rested you know, during the course of the day, but we don't see that. That I've witnessed, a, a, a trip that should end by evening, or, you know, latest by 6 o'clock. There are times when you are still on the road. I think you also had, had that experience. <laughs> you're still on the yes. road, uh, you know, at night. The FRC officials are probably not there, you know, to, to help, you know, uh, you know, caution the drivers for those who are, you know, excessively driving and all of that. But we just hope for safe travels uh, now and even beyond uh, the year. All right, that's it.